Welcome, I'm Graham Hitman and I'm Professor of Molecular Medicine and Diabetes at Barts and London School of Medicine and Dentistry, which is part of the University of London. I'm also the coordinator of the GIFTS, or Genomic and Lifestyle Predictors of Fetal Outcome Relevant to Diabetes and Obesity, and their relevance to prevention strategies in South Asian peoples. Now what is GIFTS? It's a FP7 European project investigating pregnancy as a critical time window for the prevention of diabetes and cardiometabolic disease in South Asian populations living in their home countries such as India, Pakistan and Bangladesh or in European cities such as London and Oslo. So we're currently witnessing an epidemic of diabetes and this is centred on the South Asian continent but it's also found in Europe. For instance, in the local Bangladeshi community here in East London, they have four to six times the prevalence of diabetes compared to the background population in the whole of England. Now the good news is that diabetes can be delayed by a healthy lifestyle in the at-risk person. However, diabetes prevention should really be started in early life, as early as in utero, um, and extended to the whole life course of a risk person. So that's going to continue through childhood to early adult life and through to the at-risk adult stage. So what's our program of research? Well, it's studying the influence of nutrition, and by this I mean underweight, overweight, and dietary deficiencies in pregnancy, and studying the effect on the mother and her baby living in different settings. What's really interesting is those conditions I've already mentioned also look as if they may predispose to diabetes in later life. So can we intervene? Can we do something about this? So to answer this, we will also study the outcomes of two intervention trials uh, in, all conducted in Bangladesh. One is a pragmatic trial of nutrition and lifestyle, um, and that is directly funded by the GIFTS program, and the other has been already funded by the Wellcome Trust Foundation and has shown that maternal empowerment can lower perinatal mortality. And what GIFTS is going to answer the question of is in the three-year-olds from those mothers that have had the maternal empowerment program is can this change the body shape or size of the three-year-old? So we're now in the exciting era of genomic medicine, and this is beginning to transform the way we approach uh, not only diagnosis, but disease management. In GIFTS, we're going to be using the latest technology to investigate genetic markers that might help influence risk prediction of diabetes, and we're also going to study the epigenome to determine whether changes dependent on nutrition can help predict the outcome of some of our complex interventions. In designing complex interventions in pregnancy, it's important to understand the cultural barriers to the uptake of any intervention. For instance, again in the local Bangladeshi community, we're well aware they are well aware of the diabetes epidemic, but opinions vary on what to do. And there's a conflict, for instance, from the family and the mother providing the tasty foods around the table and what she should be personally doing for her own pregnancy. And for instance, um, it's not uncommon, as with many pregnant women, to seek the opinion of peers what should I do? And the common advice is you need to eat healthily for the baby. You're eating, you need to eat for two, for instance. 
And there's also common misconceptions around exercise, thinking it might be actually unhealthy for the baby, even though one knows that it might be better for diabetes prevention. So what we need to do is make the interventions culturally sensitive. And to do that, what we're doing is we're getting focus groups together of women of different South Asian backgrounds and actually asking these important questions and what they think we should be doing within interventions. There's also a big problem in the local community and indeed out in uh, the home countries that women present themselves late to the antenatal services sometimes and are missing critical windows in which benefit could happen if they're not well. And again, we need to understand this and we're going to again do this again through various discussion groups. Now, the next bit is we must make sure that any intervention that we suggest is affordable. To do that, we look at the health economics and look to see that if we need to change dietary supplements, if we need to give vitamin D or vitamin B12, or we need to recommend various interventions, that this is actually affordable for the benefit that might be gained. And the very last part of the GIFTS programme is to then communicate the results of the trial and help educate those health professionals involved in diabetes prevention. So finally, I hope you find uh, the contents of the GIFTS e-learning portal useful and that you enjoy your learning experience. Thank you.